Howdy, friends. How we doing? Brody, what's up? Um, oh, I don't know anything about that, dude. I have to look into that soon, then. Um, okay. Happy 4th of July for those who celebrate. Um, I've had kind of like a long day. Um, just had a lot of stuff the past couple days, so here we are. I don't usually stream on Thursdays, but this is lovely. Um, I haven't showered yet, and it's been kind of like a hot, uh, humid day, so my hair is really, <laughs> really curling. Uh, my wife says she really likes it, so uh, thumbs up or down if, if you like my hair. USA! That's right, Brady. Hold on. Let me check my, check my YouTube channel. Um, no, when I go to the old YouTube channel, it appears to still be, uh, still be active, which makes me very happy to know that it's not being taken down in any way. Um, all right, so we have some stuff to do. Um, I'm gonna try to catch Rayquaza a couple more times. If we can't catch him in a few more attempts, um, I'll probably just leave him for later because we're not planning on using him anyway. So he'll he'll still be here. Uh, we can always give it a few give it a few shots because we we're, we saved in front of him, so we can always reset. Um, and we still got our our normal squad here um, today in Emerald. Oh. I love how you have kind of like the sky behind him right there. Uh, oh, it's 5th of July for you. I guess that's true. Yeah, you're up late, dude. I guess you always are. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. If you're just joining us, I would treat catching, trying to catch Rayquaza with more reverence, but we really tried to a lot last stream and we were unsuccessful. Ooh, he's gonna fly. Gonna fly this time round. Um, <laughs> let's see. I would have loved to see a miss there. Um, but Guzzle can usually tank one hit from Rayquaza that's not Outrage. Um, I'll take that. Um, let's see. What do we want to do here? Oh, nice critical hit. Um, ba, ba, da, ba. I might try a little different strat here with Torkoal. Pokeball? <laughs> oh, wait, Pokeball while it sleeps? Right now? Hold on, I, I have a plan. I want to see if I can do a curse or two on Guzzle. I think this is the third turn. Thir third turn, it's been asleep. Um, because now, in theory, implying it doesn't use Outrage, we should be able to tank another attack. He did use Outrage, though. Alright, so that didn't work. <laughs> oh, guys. Guys. Okay, it's stuck in an Outrage. I don't know. Get ready for the crit, yeah. Um, I don't know if anyone on our squad can live in Outrage. Harry, maybe? Um, because Harry's got some good special defense. Um, but I feel like I've tested this before. Yeah, still no. Yes, I'll use next Pokemon. And it's not very effective on Ron, but Ron is so... Um, bad special defensively um, that it doesn't matter it still kills it um, I'm gonna try putting you to sleep okay that'll kill James kill James at Chimeco great nice critical hit love to see it um, this is going extraordinarily poorly so far um, <clears throat> All right, we're going to try to do some Rock Tombs. Really don't want to see Outrage here. I'd love a Confusion hit. It didn't get one. That'll work, though. That'll get one. That'll work, though. Mm -hmm. Ah, Blazer when it sleeps. 
Well, hopefully we can lower its speed enough here. That's a nice critical hit. Um, I just really need it to be nice and not use Outrage. Um, or get hit in confusion. Okay, fly. I'll take that. I'll take a fly. Because um, Ron can tank that all, all day long. I mean, not literally all day long, but you know what I mean. Um, oh, that's a brutal rock to miss. Oh, that's terrible. All right, let's see here. I do have, I think I do have a timer ball or two. So if this gets to be like a really long battle, um, maybe I can get rake. Oh my gosh, with the rock to miss, man. Um, there we go. All right, another critical hit. At least we got a critical hit. Um, let's see. What we got? Rest. He's just going to keep resting. So I am just going to kind of empty my rock tomb clip here. Um, we'll see what happens. All right, that works. <laughs> Timer ball is not a Pokeball. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Um, let's see. All right, I got three more rock tombs. Let's just see what we can do here. Lower his speed as much as possible. So that way, I mean, I don't even know. I think Blaine and um, Piccolo are our only two Pokemon left. So that'll work. Um, there we go. Okay, Ron is faster than Rayquaza now. Okay. Okay, he's resting now. Let's see. I'm going to use some Iron Tails. See if we can do a little more damage. All right, that didn't quite do. That didn't do much more, but that's okay. We did get a defense drop. All right, if I can get him into the yellow. Another defense drop. We like to see that. Okay, fly. That works. Um, we actually outspeed now. Let's see. So let's try another Iron Tail. His defense is down two stages. Rest. That's fine. And now with his defense down a little bit, we should be able to get him down a little bit quicker. One more Iron Tail. Great. All right, I'm going to try to throw a ball now, Brody. Let's see. Ah, oh, we're really going to try to do this in a Pokeball. My goodness gracious. Oh, I don't have any timer balls, actually. Let's see. I'm certainly going to try. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, we can... <laughs> Just think of the short. It'll be the perfect short. <laughs> You're right. You're not wrong. Okay, let's see what strength can do here. Because it should get him to the red and not kill him good. Okay, great. I'll take that. Um, I can still throw a ball when he's in the air. Let's see. <sighs> Dang it. I do like how you can still try to catch him when he's in the air. I'm also eternally grateful that he has not gone for outrage in this time. Excuse me. Let's see. Not even getting a shake, man. Okay. Finally catching Outrage. All right, so here, this is going to be a little bit high risk, high reward. Because Blaine will be faster now. Please hit. Sing, please hit. I really wanted Sing to hit there. That would have been real. <laughs> that would have been real helpful. We still got the Ziggy curse, Brody. Oh man. All right, he's confused. Um, all right, Pokeball. Here we go. Oh yeah, I got you. Dang it, we haven't even gotten a shake. Not even a shake, man. Okay, fly. That works. Uh, it'll kill Piccolo. This is probably our last shot here. Let's see. Hmm. 
We can miss. Ah, uh, he could hit himself. <gasps> ah, but that killed it. <laughs> we didn't want that either. Oh, goodness gracious, I tell ya. I tell ya. All right, folks. I'm gonna see, maybe if I can lower his speed from the start. Because he can't recoup that when he uses rest. All right, I might give I might give Rayquaza one or two more tries here, um, just because you know I want to do some other stuff tonight. I don't want to be trying to catch Rayquaza all night. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm really just. By starting with Ron, I am really just praying that he doesn't go for Outrage, and that is exactly what he did. Exactly what he did. Um, so James has a chance. James has the Lax Incense, so he could possibly... <laughs> starting to think the Pokeball's not that good. Uh, you don't say. <laughs> That's what crazy people say. Oh my goodness, Brody. What a guy you are. Um, okay. So, okay, at least it's confused now. The issue is that nothing, nothing on my team can live one outrage. Um, and I think Harry can live an extreme speed. We'll find out right now. Nope, sure can't. Absolutely, positively cannot. Um, so now we really need a paralysis to even have a chance here. Maybe a hurt itself in confusion. Great. Let's see that paralysis. Come on. Nope. All right. All right. We can do this. We can still do this. Come on. Not even Guzzle can tank that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Piccolo can either. Um, I'm just going to throw a ball. <laughs> I'm throwing an Ultra Ball. We'll see if this works. No. Come on now. That was a real prayer. Oh, I guess it is still confused. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna use Screech here. Don't use Outrage. Great. This still might kill me though. Ooh, still does. Great. Um, okay. So here, let's see, I'm praying for not Outrage or not anything that can kill me. And we get Outrage. Oh, guys, that one didn't even last very long. I guess that's good. We don't waste too much time. All right, folks. I didn't like that. I'm still going to start with Guzzle. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm going to try one more time. We might still be able to come back this stream. Just because, you know, I want to I wanna get into other stuff. I do love Rayquaza. Everybody loves Rayquaza. It's one of, like, the most popular Pokemon pretty much ever, I think. Um, ooh, there is a really cool thing with Rayquaza in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the one for the Wii. Oh, that still killed Torkoal. I thought he lived to fly. She lived to fly, excuse me. Um, oh, that's terrible. Anyway, there is a really cool thing with Rayquaza and Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii, um, where you have like a little boss fight against it where you're trying to like whittle down its HP. It's really fun. And that's a brutal, brutal miss. But we can still... I mean, Ron is great. Ron can tank Rayquaza's other moves. Just no Pokemon on our team can tank even one Outrage. Um, which is the big issue. Excuse me. And I'll take a rest at this point. Because it'll really let us whittle down some speed and defense. Um, oh my gosh. 
Uh, oh my gosh, thank you, Brody. Doom, doom, doom. All right, we still got to fly. There we go. Perfecto. All right, okay, I'll take a rest. Oh, come on. That's the thing about Rock Tomb. It's just not too accurate. There we go. Okay, so now we're faster. So all of our squad will be faster now. So we at least have a shot. Um, nice critical and defense drop. Love to see it. All right, great effort, Ron. Good work. Good work by you. Yes. Um, so here, now that we're faster, I'm going to see if we can get some flinches with Harry. Um, this might be, might be good. Some twister flinches. Um. Alright, that did not work. Did not work at all. Um. Alright, I'm gonna try to put him to sleep with Blaine. Let's, let's see that sing hit this time. Come on. There we go. There we go. Delightful. Okay, so here he does have a defense drop. Drop. I'm gonna use a dragon breath just to whittle him down a little more. I want to have a little bit of wiggle. Come on, gosh, man. Um, that was one turn. I want to have a little bit of wiggle room. Um, with what you call it, um, confusion, just because he really likes to kill himself on accident. Um, okay, Double Edge does nothing. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? Um, <laughs> Green Bird. It's Rayquaza! Um, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to do here. He's just going to hit me with the fly and kill me. Great. Um, Wonderful. So I am going to really lower his defense now, if I can. Um, because if Altaria is going to do anything to it, um, I think, yeah. Okay, now it's, its defense is going to be all the way down. Um, da, 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 do. I don't know how many outrages it gets. What is a leaf blade? This is gonna do nothing. Yeah, that did nothing. Even a critical hit will do less than a quick attack. Um, so really, ooh, nice critical hit, okay. Yeah, I'm really just kind of stalling here. I don't know why it just wants to keep using rest right now. Um, I guess at some point it's going to run out of power points like Wands Kingdra. Like Extreme Speed only has five. Um, yes, we'll use next Pokemon, Blaine. All right, Blaine. We need that Sing Luck once again. Come on, bless us. Thank you. Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> is that septile <laughs> a lizard and a man <laughs> that's funny <laughs> um yes i wanted to use peck there you have got to be kidding me this is ridiculous you know what i'm gonna use fly hopefully it doesn't kill it don't kill it don't kill it okay can we live a fly Ah, not a man, a bald man, specifically. I see. Um, I don't know if we can live a fly, so we're going to let a Pokeball fly right now. Come on. Dang it. We have not gotten a shake in several attempts. I'm pretty sure this fly will kill Blaine. Oh, and it does. And it does. And it does. Guys, we're coming back later. We're coming back later for Rayquaza, because you know what? I could still throw the Master Ball. I could still throw the Master Ball, and I might just do that. Um, but I wanted to make sure I at least gave y'all uh, a look at me 
<laughs> trying to catch it. Um, pathetically. But, we're gonna do something fun. Goodbye for now, Rayquaza. We'll see ya, we'll see you later. Um, I'm gonna pop over here, because we are going to go to a really cool side area that I like. And for this, we're gonna need our boy, our boy Bentacool. Um, I will just box chime that go for now, because it's already at level 40. Okay. Does our boy Bentacool know Waterfall yet? I actually don't remember if we've talked him Waterfall or not. Because we got Waterfall right before we fought the 8th gym. Um, no, still needs to learn it. That's great. Um, and now that we have defeated Juan, we can actually use this move outside of battle. And that'll help us get to the Pokemon League. However, we're actually not going there right this second. Um, we will soon. Uh, but I wanted to do just a little bit of side stuff um, on this episode. Because we kind of started to defeat some of the trainers out here in the ocean south of Slateport City. Yes, I thought we already fought them. Um, but as we continue east here, we're going to get to a cool little area. But we'll fight some of these people first as well. And this couple is just out here on their own little island. They have their dust talks and their beautiful eye. And I am going to destroy them both. <laughs> Rock Tomb is Beautifly's worst nightmare, and Flamethrower is not much better for Dust Tox. And there you have it. Yeah, at this point, a lot of our squad is going to annihilate these extra trainers. But that's all right. You still love to see it. All right, so... <clears throat> we'll fight this fella and the rest of the fellas and gals. Ooh, Tentacruel. Ah. I don't know if you can hear that. People are doing firecrackers outside of our, uh, outside of our apartment here. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, I can't tell what that is. Is it a turtle? Is it Guzzle? Is it Torkoal? Um, there you go, Guzzle. Ooh, Amnesia. Um, you know, I really like Guzzle's set here. I'm gonna keep it the same. Yeah. Um, Amnesia was actually a really good move in Generation 1 because it could activate the badge, bo badge boost glitch. Um, I hate that in the water, so we'll go with Blaine first. Um, alright. Oh, I got a nice little double battle here. Oh, you couldn't find a, a god one, so it's Ziggy. I understand. That that checks. That that tracks. I probably should have just used strength on this Wingle. Because Rock Tomb could miss. But luckily it does not. Um, perfect. We're just going to do this. Uh, Machop, it's funny because we are... Uh, many more levels above Machop, but we could really get hurt by that thing. Um, da -da 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 Great critical hit. I really don't like fighting Manetrix just because they're so... they can so easily paralyze you, which aggravates me greatly. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. One shot to Swallow. We're doing great. Da -da -da. Hmm. Oh, a fire turtle. That's Torkoal. I see. Um, and having all of these people registered in our Pokenab is actually going to be really useful for later. Um, in case we need to do some extra leveling up. Alright, so I'll fight you. My liar of a boyfriend said I looked great in a bikini, says Swimmer Tara here. Wow. What a bozo. There we go. 
Horsey is a delightful Pokemon. I really hate that Wands Kingdra poisons the experience for all. And it's actually funny because that makes two, like, two straight games that we have played together where the eighth gym leader's ace was a Kingdra. There you go. So, here we are. What is this place, you might ask? This is the abandoned ship. Listen to this music. Very regal yet mysterious. Mm, very cool. Love the abandoned ship. Um, this is a completely optional side area. You do not have to come in here at all. But there are a couple really good um, items you can get your hands on. So I'm... And there, there are some trainers in here, too. I'm going to go around and make sure I defeat all the trainers that we can. Um, but this is kind of just like, you know, it's kind of put together like the SSN or the SS Aqua if we were in Gen 2. Um, but it just kind of ran ashore and got old and dilapidated and they're not taking care of it anymore. Um, excuse me. But you still have these people here kind of like, Ooh, Dragon Dance. This is something we want. We're going to get rid of Peck for Dragon Dance. Um, what Dragon Dance does is that, you see here, a mystical dance that ups attack and speed, which is very good. That can really make Fly really sing. Um, and we're actually, that's actually very important for something that we're going to do later. Um, just a little, little tease for you. Da, da, da. <laughs> the idiotic Ziggy Replacer Torkoal. I see. I see. I understand you're bitter. I'm sorry. Da, 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 da. Luckily, a lot of these trainers we can just annihilate. There we go. Ah. There might be something good in these trash cans. It's empty, it says. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna put Harry in front. Get everybody to level 40. Ah, it's just exciting to be here, says this little kid. Um, so, like I said, there are a lot of trainers here, um, but soon enough we'll get into the reason why we're here. Um, ba -ba -da -da. Uh, oh, Sfeel is such a cute freaking Pokemon, man. It's so nice. At this point, Surf is probably going to do... Yeah, it was a one-shot, not even effective. Um, these sailors love their Machokes, don't they? They love their dead Machokes via my Melodic. Um, all right. Let's see. Because some of these are locked. This door is locked. Storage is painted on the door. That'll come into play later. What's this guy doing? Is he sick? Yeah. I'm getting queasy. Um, alright. So this area is what we're gonna have to what we're gonna have to do. But I wanna kinda set the scene first. Got ourselves an escape rope. I wanna make sure I'm inspecting every room. Oh, a nice dive ball. Perfect. Um, <laughs> you still don't like Torkoal. Ah, you bet there's amazing treasures on board. I think you might be right. You might be right, sonny boy. Um, we'll deal with this little kid. We'll send him crying back to his mother. Lovely. Goodbye, sir. All right. Oh, secret double battle that I forgot about. How about that? So I didn't really talk much about my day. I've been busy all day. Um, 
just seeing family and eating with family. I'm very full right now. Um, you know, that's something we Americans love to do is just eat. Um, <laughs> but it was a fun time. It was good to see my parents. Um, and we saw some other relatives of my wife's. That was great, too. Um, wow, I feel like Ron should be at level 40 by now. And yesterday, um, one of the reasons that I didn't stream yesterday was because my wife and I do something called a movie day. And we try to do it like once or twice a year, where if we are both not working, we will take the entire day and just watch movies. Um, four to five is the sweet spot, because any more than that, and it can be too much. Um, but yeah, we watched five movies yesterday, and it was really, really cool. We always try to, like, knock a lot of the movies off of our list um, that we want to watch. Um, so yesterday we watched... Um, we watched Challengers, which was the new movie with Zendaya. Tennis movie. It was really good. Kind of like a tennis romantic drama. Ooh, Harry's trying to learn Hydro Pump. Uh, no, I like Surf a lot more. Hydro Pump I don't really enjoy because it's not very accurate. And Surf is still plenty powerful enough. Um, anyway, we started with Challengers. And then we watched The Apartment which won the Oscar for Best Picture in 1960. Um, and it was actually really good, kind of like a romantic dramedy type thing. But it was really old, so, you know, it was interesting in that way. Um, third, we watched The Sound of Metal, um, which was very interesting to, to me. It's about a metal drummer that loses his hearing. Um, and, you know, I enjoy metal music so that was interesting um but it was really good really kind of like uh contemplative very good um fourth we watched jamed and the giant peach which i adore but my wife has not seen and then fifth we watched parenthood starring steve martin and others um it was a great time so i'm going to save here because i had anxiety oh who's that pokemon um what is that is that a fish and are you trying to say you hate the stupid fish? <laughs> um, okay, so here. We have this fella. And he's investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He asked me to find a scanner, but you haven't had any success. So to find the scanner, we're going to have to go on an undersea adventure. Um, and there are a lot of other cool items that we can find as well. One specifically, one TM that is one of the best TMs in the game that we need to pick up here in the abandoned ship. And if you don't know to go here, you will never know to get this TM. So it's a really cool side area to go to. Um, oh, <laughs> it's hair. I see. So we just picked up the storage key from the professor's office there. And now this gives us the TM for Ice Beam. And that is the big item we wanted. Um, let's see. But we want to go on our dive adventure as well. So as you can see, there's a little dive spot here. And I love this. Because you can dive down here into the abandoned ship. And you're like in the, you know, the, the water... Uh, you're just in the water. On, you're in the water in the ship. Um, so it's really, really cool. I don't know what the word I was looking for there. Um, but you can see like the damaged windows there. Oh, so cool. I absolutely would like to use dive. And here, we've got six rooms. And many of them are locked. Room one. And there, you can see in the corner. I'll show you again. If you go here, look in the top right corner. There's a little sparkle up there. And when you walk into the room, that tells you that there is an item there. And that's the room one key that we need. Um, and it gets a little more difficult than that. What is this one? A water stone, yes, another great way to find a water stone. 
Um, so here is room one. Okay, there's a couple different sparkles. One's over here. Got the room four key. And I know one was up here. Just bright and shiny, but it's a piece of trash. So not all of them ha are items. TM for rain dance as well. Um, let's see, what's that move? Is that dragon, <laughs> dragon ball? <laughs> dragon breath? Um, okay. So now we have the room four key. What room is this? Ah, this must be room four. Great. Ah, okay, so there's a couple spots. There we go. There was one in the trash can. Um, those two might also be trash, but I want to make sure. There's one, no, here. Ah, just trash, and then I think there's one right here, yes. Still nothing, had to check. Ah, Draco Meteor, oh, that's a good one. Um, okay, we can get in here. Oh, I think Luxury Ball. So I know we can go in here and it'll show a lot of different sparkles. But the thing is, you can't enter. Let me show you. This is the toughest of the little sparkle puzzle because you walk in here and you see all those sparkles, but you can't move. So you have to try to like memorize where they are and go back around to the other door. Let me try again. I know there's one like right here. Okay, just trash. I think there's one like here. Of course you can just move around and press A. <laughs> um, gosh, dang it. Okay, I knew where the one was. Um, because what we're trying to find, as you can see in the bottom left there, there's an item that's the last room we have to get into. Um, and that's the key that I'm trying to find. So I know it's not over there. Let me look one more time. Okay, one's at the very bottom, one's at the very top, and one's right below the second trash can. Okay. I think right here. There we go. Okay, not there. And then, okay, not there. So it's gotta be right here. Yes. Oh, finally, the room two key. Um, <laughs> welcome back. It's the Brody show. Um, I appreciate you, Brody. Um, so now we can head back right here and here is room two. And this is the scanner, which is very, very cool. Is there anything in here? No, still empty. I always think there's going to be a leftovers or something in there. Um, lovely. I would love to use dive. Yes. So now we can work our way through the flooded parts of the ship, which are so cool. You see the windows are broken over there. That is so awesome. Ah. Such a cool, optional area this is. I love it. Um, all right. So now we got to head back to our fellow over here, and we got to give him his scanner. Okay, so when you give this guy the scanner... Oh, that's a scanner. Um, oh, he wants us to deliver it to Captain Stern. Oh, that's annoying. I actually didn't realize that. <laughs> um, all right. Can we fly out of here? No. Uh, I'm just gonna use an escape rope because we should have plenty. Yeah, we have nine. So that's the abandoned ship. It's really cool. They actually do a lot of cool stuff with it in the remake as well. Um, so let me show you um, what the deal is with this when we take it to Captain Stern. Because this is actually really cool. Um, is he at the shipyard? I think he is. Or he might be at the... Will you tell me? 
Where is Captain Stern nowadays? Let's see. Oops. <laughs> I don't remember where Captain Stern is. <laughs> Let's see. I know he looks like one of these scientist fellows. Okay, that guy is down in that area. Maybe he might be at the uh, the harbor. Do, 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 do. Yes, here he is. This is right where we left him, actually. Okay. So, now that we got the scanner from the abandoned ship, we can give it to Captain Stern. Oh, that item you have, it's a scanner. Ah, that'll help us on our exploration. So, when you give him the scanner, he will give you either a deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale. Now, those two items can be used to evolve the Pokemon Clam Pearl that we've seen. You can find it on the bottom of the ocean, um, and it will evolve Clam Pearl into either Huntail or Gorbis. I believe the Deep Sea Scale evolves it into Gorbis, and the Deep Sea Tooth evolves it into Huntail. Um, they're not like the best Pokemon, but they are really cool and pretty exclusive because you have to do this whole little quest, and you can only get one of these items um, per file. I believe so. Um, so I am going to get the Deep Sea Scale, actually. Yes. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, you changed your your name color. I do, I do like the green, Brody. Um, hooray! So we helped Captain Stern with his research, and that is absolutely wonderful. Um, so let's fly. And we're actually gonna fly down here. <laughs> USA Blue. Um. It looks a little, oh, that's funny. It does, it looks blue on my uh, chat that you can see here, but on my like side chat in OBS, it looks purple for, for some reason, but it looks blue in uh, Twitch also. That's very interesting. Um, okay. So now we are going to go off the coast of Petalburg City here. Because we got some more uh, fools we can kill. Ah, uh, no. Hold on. Oh, hold the fort. I forgot that I don't want Bentacool in the squad right now. We'll get our boy James back. Lovely. I'm wasting my super repel, guys. I'm wasting it. There we go. I don't think there's anything up here, no. Um, let's see. <laughs> We're on it, but, uh... <laughs> Thanks, Brody. <laughs> um, okay, so down here, um, we have more trainers that we can fight, but there is, um, something in particular that's down here as well that I want to show off just a little bit. Um, because this route will actually converge to where we just were on the abandoned ship. Um, da, 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 do, do, do. I'm going to let James get in the front because my oh boy James hasn't seen game action in a little bit. Um, so let's see. We're working our way down here, making my way downtown. Um... Catch up with you. Um, where none of the links will work. None of the links work. Do they not work? Can I click on it? Oh, no, I can click on it. All right, so we defeated Dominic here. But if we go over here, we have a cool little island going on. So let's smoke this fool really quick. I mainly ate ribs today. Smoking made me think of ribs. Um, I had a lot of ribs, actually. It was really delicious. Um, 
Sorry for you vegetarians out there. Um, but it was tasty. Da -da -do 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 -do. I can see it in the video chat, but I can't click it. That's so interesting. Oh. That's really interesting, because I can, I can click on it on my Twitch page that I have open over here. Um, do, 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 do. All right, so we have that double battle there, but I want to show you this because we have another set of mysterious boulders out here in the middle of the ocean. And this is the third and final set of mysterious boulders. We had some in the desert, we had some near Lily Cove City, and now we have some here. And I'm just telling you now, we're gonna figure out what all this is about, for those of you that don't know. Not today, but soon. Um, but until then, we can smoke a few more of these fools. You think they can hang? But yeah, like I was saying, today's July 4th, which is nice. I have not been a real... I mean, I'm not like a huge 4th of July person. Not that I don't... Not that I don't like it, but... Um, I feel like my family usually has a cookout. We actually went out to eat. Um, um, my family did, but... Yeah, I just think of it as a day where we cook out, you know? Nothing too crazy. I believe there's an item between those two guys. You really gotta sneak right in here. Um, -da 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 I'll let Guzzle work here. Ah. Brody, you know what's up. You know what all those boulders are. Um... Oh, wow. Sandshrew ate that strength. I did not think it would survive that. That's interesting. Um, oops, I'll just body slam you. I believe Ron is going to evolve at level 45, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's going to be a joyous occasion. Guzzle is slower than this Sandshrew, by the way. I mean, she be a tortoise. She's the goat, but she be a tortoise as well. <laughs> I'm so weak, but you're willing to register me in your Pokenav? Yeah, dude. We're all just having fun here. Ah, big pearl. Something we can sell. That's lovely. Um, hey... Brody, you can be a mod. When the time comes when we need mods, I'll, I'll tell you right now, you can be a mod. Um, where am I going? I want to go to Slateport. Yeah, I was thinking if we ever need mods, you and Tech are my, fir are my first two. Um, I would think. Ah, but Brody, you're in luck. I just thought I just remembered this. We are going to uh, say hello to an old to an old friend here. We're gonna bring her back for a little while. Oops, not that. Nope. There we go. We'll let, we'll let James chill for now. We're gonna bring back our girl Ziggy. I think I'm even gonna use Ziggy. This will be really fun. Um, oops, not what I wanted to do. Once again, I'm just misclicking all over the place. <laughs> um, so, we can pop up here. And I talked about this a little bit earlier. But here is the trick house. We have not done anything with the trick house. It's just kind of this random house here north of Slateport City. But when you walk in, someone says, you're being watched. And there's going to be another little flash like we saw in the abandoned ship. <gasps> there it is. It's right on the table. I wonder what that is. 
Ha! Huh. How did you know I concealed myself beneath this desk, you're sharp? So here is the Trick Master! He's a wily little fun little fella. <laughs> Uh, they call me the Trick Master. So he sets up these kind of little trick challenges in his house. And there are several that you can do throughout your playthrough of the game. That's why the first one we do here, the levels are going to be like really low. They're going to be in the teens. Because um, you're kind of like canonically supposed to do this before you even do the third gym. Um, absolutely, I want to go in. And the reason we got Ziggy is because there are cut trees in here. And Ziggy is kind of like of a level where we can uh, we can use her a little bit. And I thought you would enjoy that, Brody, because Ziggy is your because <laughs> Ziggy is your boy. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, some headbutts. That'll do nicely. Oh, nice crit. Defeated last Sally. Love to see it. Um, I'm going to try to do the Ziggy sweep here in the trick house, just for you. Um, ah, and Ziggy's got an item as well. Making herself useful in more ways than one. Hey, what's up? Thanks for the follow. Um, let's see. Oh, Ziggy uses an antidote, gets an antidote. Perfect. And you have this nice little music. Mmm. It's a fun time, the Trick House. It's, this is, again, just another completely optional area that you can do. Um, so as you make your way through here, um, there will be like a different little puzzle for each Trick House room. And for each one, you see that little thing on the other side of the wall, that is a scroll. And you have to get to that scroll and memorize what it says and put the inscription on the door so you can get your way out. Um, it's kind of like an escape room, honestly. Um, and this is just a really cute little side quest. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, what's up? Okay, Heather the Sunflower Witch. Hello, I saw, I couldn't see your name that followed. Um, oh, hey, hello. Thank you for, uh... Popping on over. I appreciate that. I also love Pokemon games so much. Um, I, do, I play some other stuff sometimes, but I kind of primarily play Pokemon stuff. Um, I, I have... <laughs> I've said for a while, like, I want to diversify, but I always just keep playing Pokemon. It's just so fun, and people really enjoy it. Um, so every time you go into the Trick House, there's a different mail that you can get. I never use mail. I think it's something that you can, like put on a Pokemon so that when you trade them, the person who gets the Pokemon will uh, receive the mail, um, which is cute, and you can write something on it, write a little message. Um, but thanks for being here, Heather. I appreciate it. Um, so you love the Pokemon games. When did you... What was your first Pokemon game? I feel like I ask people a lot that come here that enjoy. ba ba da da ba da ba ba da ba ba Ah, uh, yes, we are the same. Perfect. Ziggy is... Mmm! Yes, Brody, just for you, I'm gonna try to sweep this place with Ziggy. Oh, we're getting the flinches, guys. Come on! Don't need to learn Odor Sleuth. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, I was about to say, I'm about to just keep flinching all over the place. I'm about to run out of headbutts, though. I do have Surf, though, which is great. Ah, your first game was Fire Red. That's actually great. I love that for you. Um, because you got, like, the Generation 1 experience without all of the Generation 1, like, crap. <laughs> to where the game isn't, like, super polished just because it was really early in their life as game developers. Um... All right, so here we have the scroll. S SCG found a scroll. Memorize the secret code. And now we gotta go put the secret code on the door and that'll help us get out of here. So now we have to fight one more fella. Um, make sure Ziggy's up for the task. Um, but yeah, I also played Sapphire. I didn't play Ruby, I played Sapphire. Um, 
but I do I do enjoy Emerald the most, I find. Even though I like still going back to Ruby and Sapphire because there's still a lot of good differences there. Um, ah, you found blue at a garage sale. It is an experience. My first game was yellow. So yellow is a little bit better. I think there's still a lot of the same glitches, but kind of like art direction wise, it was a lot better and more like what they wanted it to be, I feel. Um, there we go. We're getting all the flinches with headbutt. Um, but yeah, that's lovely. I'm, I'm really, I always say that like, if you have never played a Pokemon game before, um, Fire Red or Leaf Green is a really good one to start with. So I'm glad you got that experience. Do you have a favorite? Um, I always say my favorite's Pokemon Crystal. Silver or Crystal, I'm a real Gen 2, Gen 2 fella. That is when I really fell in love with the series was Generation 2. And there we go. Ziggy used every last one of her headbutts to get through the Trick Master's house. But she pulled it off. Um, let's see, is the first time playing it the one on my channel? Oh, uh, the first time playing which game? Crystal? Because <laughs> I've played Crystal 100 million times. Oh, Yellow. No, I've, yeah, I've, I've played, I, I have played Yellow tons and tons of times. Um, but, uh, your favorite is Sapphire. Generation 3 is one of your favorites. I'll definitely give you that. I will always say Generation 3 probably has the best engine. Um, of any Pokemon game I've ever played. It just feels really good to play. Um, even like the super modern ones, I think. Um, okay, so here, when you get to the end of the Trick House's room, you write the code on here. This one is Trick Master is Fabulous. <laughs> and then the lock opens. So every time you complete a room, you can talk to the Trick Master and he will give you an item for completing the room. For the first room, he gives you a rare candy, which is really nice. Um, and he gives you some other rare items um, as you go along, which is really neat. Ha ha ha, come back for the next exciting installment. Um, your first Pokemon game was Let's Go? Really, Brody? I actually don't know how old you are, Brody. That probably makes you a little younger, huh? Because I know, I know Tech's about my age, but I don't know how old you are, dude. So, now that we have eight badges, we could, in theory, go right back inside and do another Trick House uh, room. Um, but we'll probably not do that for now. Let's see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, Brody specifically really loves Ziggy. Um... I mean, Ziggy is a fan favorite. Ziggy is, you know, my my HM Zigzagoon that we love, um, but don't use a whole lot. Um, so now we are kind of getting to the point of the game. I might want to kind of um, knock out a few more of these trainers here in 127, 128. Um, because we have to make our way here to Evergrand City uh, because that is where the Pokemon League is. Um, da, 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 do, 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 do. Oh, did we ever get this? I don't know if... We, did we ever return the meteorite to... <laughs> you're down to be a fan of Ziggy? Nice. Did we ever return the meteorite to our friend, Professor Cosmo? I feel like maybe we did. Oh, we have not. I never should have let myself be conned into telling Team Magma where you can find meteorites. That meteorite from Meteor Falls, oh, it's never gonna be mine now. <gasps> but we have it for our boy, and we can give it to him, and he will give us the TM for Return, which is really nice. Um, return is a really cool move, it's a normal move. It does more damage the higher your friendship is. Um, so at this point, our friendship is also is going to be really high on all of our Pokemon. So we could, in theory, use it for a pretty powerful normal move if we need. 
This is really gonna help my research. Oh, and it's just so cute. Professor Cosmo is just so wholesome and excited about getting his meteorite so he can research. Oh, so great. I love that little scene. Um... <laughs> hey, I mean, I do love Ziggy. Um, let's see. We probably need to sell a few things, actually. I'm glad we were able to pick up Return today. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll sell this. Never gonna use the mail. You can sell that big pearl for a lot of money. The star piece you can sell for a lot of money. It's much like a nugget. Um... Let's see. Oh, I can deposit those in the PC. Alright, so I have one more thing I think I want to try to do tonight. I want to check Shoal Cave to see if it is high tide. Because if it is, we'll deposit you and you. Great. Um, actually, I want to pop over here. Because I want to pick up... Oops. No, that's fine. Um, sorry, I'm just doing... A few more... PC shenanigans here. There we go. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> now we can pop over here because we can use the HM for waterfall. And as you can see, there's a little waterfall over here. Yeah. Um... Oh, all of my favorite Pokemon. That's a great question, Heather. Um, so we can pop up here to this waterfall. And we get this secret item. We have an encounter that we must deal with. Pardon me. <laughs> you have it timestamped, Brody, when I say that it isn't that good. I will look at that later. Hold on. I'm going to click on this link. Um, what do you say? 33.49? Okay. I'll look at that in a minute. Okay. Um, so now we can go up that waterfall and just pick up this rare candy, which is really nice. But your question, Heather. Um, my favorite Pokemon, my all-time favorite Pokemon is my boy Lugia. Uh, fans of the channel know this little guy very well. Um, most of my Pokemon, my favorites are in Generation 2. Um, I am a huge fan of Ampharos, Skarmory, Espeon is probably my second favorite Pokemon. Um, Absol from Gen 3 is one of my faves as well. That's right, there's <laughs> Lugia's face. Um, but uh, yeah, that's probably like my top five pretty much right now, if I said five. <laughs> um, I also really love Hisuian Typhlosion. If you've played Legends Arceus, it's, oh, I love Hisuian Typhlosion. Um, all right, so let's check this shoal cave here. Let's see if we can find the the shoal shells, because we have all the salts. Um, it might be like a set thing, like during the hours in which I stream, maybe it's always going to be low tide and I just don't know that, but I'm going to check it. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, and what are your picks, Heather? I want to hear yours as well. Ah, it's high tide. Great. Now we can get the shoal shells to get our shell bell. Oh, spooky music. Oh, I didn't realize there wasn't one up here. How silly. Um, all right. I want to make sure I'm always going into every direction here, even if I am woefully misguided, as it seems. <laughs> I don't know if you need to use any, any other HMs in here. We should have them all covered for the most part. Oops. Lovely. Let's pop in here. Do, 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 do. 
I don't like how the surf music interrupts the cool, spooky music of this cave. There we go. Here's one. The Shoal Shell! And I love how it, like, disappears when you take it. That's really cool. That's, like, not something they do a lot in these games. Um, your fave Pokemon is Legends Arceus Gudra. I respect it. I like that a lot. Um, Hisuian Gudra is very cool. Um, I love Legends Arceus. It is one of my favorite games ever um, at this point. And certainly one of my favorite Pokemon games. It's definitely up there. Because I'm always very into the classics, as you can obviously tell. Um, but I love the new games as well. Your number one favorite is Houndoom. Great pick. Great pick. Karen's Ace. Super cool. Um, <laughs> that's why you like... Uh, we're just getting all the rare candies today. That's why you like Gudra. It's a good type, but it's derpy. I understand. Um, so your all-time favorite is Houndoom. That is so sick. I love to hear that. Um, I love Houndoom as well. Pretty much any Gen 2 Pokemon is going to be a winner for your boy. Um, okay. Is that all four of the shells? Have I gotten all four? I have not. There's one more. So, let's see. Where have I not gone? Okay, yeah, there's that. I think I have to go up here. Yes, up to that little... That little... Your second favorite is Ziggy. That makes sense. Ah, yes, here's the last one. Hooray! Guys! Alright, so this is great because we can hop down here and now we're back at the beginning, I think. Not uh, not quite, actually. <laughs> like I said, this is actually fun because I don't do this cave much at all. Here we go. Now we're back at the beginning. So, now that we have collected all four Shoal Schultz... <laughs> Take two. Now that we have collected all four Shoal Salts and all four Shoal Shells... We can talk to this fella here, and he can make us a shell bell. So then he puts them all together and gives us our beautiful shell bell. It's a really nice item. Um, what it does, it works a lot like leftovers, um, where you can heal every turn, but it will only heal you based on the amount of damage that you do. Let's see. A little bit of a tongue twister. You are absolutely correct about that. Um, love that we have a shell bell. I'll have to put that on somebody. Um, so let me save because I have anxiety. Okay. Well, uh, folks, this has been absolutely delightful. Um, Heather, I so appreciate you coming in and uh, stopping by the stream. I'm really, really happy that uh, you were able to join us tonight. Um... Brody, great to see you as always. Um, and if you're watching over on YouTube, you can subscribe. That'd be that'd be super cool. Um, I'm always just doing fun playthroughs and always just dropping shorts. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we still have plenty more Emerald to get through. We have the Pokemon League, and we have a lot of cool side content. Um, I'm really excited about it. But until then. Thanks for being here tonight, um, and I will see you next time. Oh, I enjoyed you being here, Heather. Thank you so much. I'll see you. I'll see you around. But uh, alrighty, peace out, kids.